is one of the best ones for me clips because this is the clear clear representation that we need that Luke Thomas or Luke as Brenda will pronounce it um is clearly being influenced by the non-stop fucking BC fucking CEO of Chang's constant fucking skits and bits is finally starting to bleed through over to fucking Luke Thomas courtesy of this clip it's, he can't deny it because when Brendan said the words that he said the little smile that comes across a fucking Luke Thomas's face is undeniable he can't help but not notice the stuff now so this is Brendan Shorben Luke Thomas speaking on the Shorben show about MMA and shit and just look at Luke's just look at Luke's face look at Luke's face I'm not, I'm not hating any facet they're two of the very best yeah. We just saw that fight. We, I just fucking saw Makhchev destroy Charles. I just saw it. And then they yeah. run it back and it's not like. <laughs> uh, he knew, he knew. He knew, he heard, he heard saw it, as the title said, in every facet. He knows all these little skits and bits. He couldn't help himself because BC says them all the fucking time. He can't help himself when he saw it. He saw it. Again, just imagine, right? Imagine pronouncing saw it with an L. Saw it. I've said it before plenty of times. I don't think this is a dyslexia thing. I don't think this is a inflamed tongue thing. I honestly do think that Brendan just knows he says sh shit wrong. But because he wants to get his thoughts out there, he just blabbers through them and doesn't give a fuck because he's like, who's going to tell me what? You know what I mean? If someone tells me something, I'll fuck them up, right? Or whatever, I've got more money than you, shut the fuck up kind of thing. He's got that kind of, you know, cocky arrogance about him. But I think he knows that he's fucking the words up. He just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> That's basically my conclusion. He just rushes through the words, says them how he says them. If you don't like what I said, you don't like what I said. But I'm not going to correct myself. I'm not going to say them correctly because you know what I'm trying to say. Kind of, he's, he's one of those type of people where he, you know, like if he fucks up your name, He's not going to try and pronounce it the way you want it to be pronounced. He's just going to say, look, but you know what I'm trying to say, you know, that kind of person. But you, but you get me, you get me though, right? The, uh, that kind of vibe. So he just kind of just says it that way because this is a crazy way to pronounce saw it. You pronounce it saw lit. Like what? One more time, because this is fucking wild. How he adds L's and E's onto stuff that don't make any sense. Like when he says milk, instead of milk. Why do you pronounce it milk? What? One more time. I'm not, I'm not hating any facet. They're two of the very best. Yeah. We just saw that fight. We, I just fucking saw Makhchev destroy <laughs> Charles. I just saw it. And then they yeah. run it back and it's not like... Luke's face. <laughs> I'm just going to play it in concentrate on Luke's face, please. Luke's face is the brilliant bit because he sees it. That, that face when you know your friend's a dummy is just the best in it. Like we've, all, we've all had that face before. Yo, big up thick boy. I appreciate you for the $2. I love sniffing an Addy off a baddie. <sighs> Sniff the Addy off the baddie. Sniff the Addy off the baddie. We going off with the Addies. Sniff the Addy off the baddie. The baddie sniff off the Addies. Addies going in the baddies. Oh, yo, sniffing an Addy off a baddie is just going to be a non-stop talk of fun, isn't it? She's going to be talking her fucking face off. You're going to be talking her face off. Nothing's going to get done. <laughs> You're both going to have incredibly sore fucking chins or sore chins, as he would say. <laughs> but big up, I appreciate you. But just focus, just focus, please, on Luke Thomas's face, please. One more time, last time now. I'm not, I'm not hating any facet. They're two of the very best. Yeah. We just saw that fight. We, I just fucking saw Makhchev destroy Charles. I just saw it. And then they yeah. run it back. <laughs> he saw it. Uh, he knows. He knows. He fucking knows. Luke Thomas knows. He can't deny it. He knows. He sees it. He sees what BC sees. But one thing I like about Luke, to be fair to him, he knows Brendan's a fucking read act, but he's also Brendan's friend. And he's also very loyal. And he's also very... Um, yeah, he's just loyal in terms of like Brendan basically helped him out to get a job at Showtime, essentially, right? He was kind of the, one of the big reasons why he got the job there. He kind of lobbied for him and recommended him. And ever since then, Luke has been like, hey, he's good with me. He's, he can never do anything in my book that's ever going to make me not like him because he helped me out in a time where I was really kind of down, wanting to make a change in my career, wasn't really seeing a way out. And he provided me with that ability to kind of, you know, 
be more successful, get a way out, provide for my family, blah, blah, blah. So I have major respect for Luke in that respect. I don't, you know, he doesn't need to be a BC. He can do this. And again, this is an example of what Luis J. Gomez doesn't do. If you want to be Brennan's friend, be Brennan's friend. But don't try and play two sides of the fucking fence and then be surprised when you get called out for it. Like, you know what I mean? No one's saying you can't be his friend. No one's saying you can't like the guy. But just relax. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to like him, cool. Like him if you want. But like, come on, man. This playing both sides thing is fucking lame. But yeah, big up Luke Thomas for um, trying his best to hold it in, <laughs> but failing miserably.